Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on unicast routing protocols. So the different protocols that is RIP, OSPF and BGP border gateway protocol. These protocols are implemented using these algorithms. Which algorithms? Distance vector, link state, path vector. Once again, these algorithms are implemented for intra-domain and inter-domain. Today's, uh, in today's session, I just wanted to show you the relation between these protocols which the students are studying, how they are related with this particular classification. So, in the textbook, one after the other, all the topics are mentioned. Just to make completely the, like how to relate these topics, this particular diagram may help the students in understanding what in understanding the relation from one topic to the other topic, how it is connected. So basically what first we shall see that the main topic is what routing protocols. Routing protocols are divided into two different categories, intra-domain and inter-domain routing. Fine. Now this what do you mean by intra-domain? What do you mean by inter-domain? For that you should learn one more term called as autonomous system. Autonomous system. So, what is autonomous system? Here in the networks, it is always represented as A and S, uppercase letter A and uppercase letter S. So, what is an autonomous system? To understand this concept, let us take first the term internet. What is internet consisting of? Internet is what a collection of networks. How many networks? All possible networks in the world, if they are connected with each other, then we call it as internet. But to manage, okay, to control or to maintain that huge set of networks is very difficult. Hence, those networks are divided further into what? Different sections we can say or smaller, a group of networks put together. We call that group of networks that are put together in one particular, this one, uh, a, what do you say, under one, under one uh, administrator becomes what? The autonomous system. So, if at all I have to explain you the intra-domain and inter-domain routing, the best, best thing is I can just uh, illustrate here. Let me take one autonomous system, AS1, okay. So, what did I say? Internet is what divided into different autonomous systems. This is one autonomous system. What does autonomous system consist of? A collection of networks. So, let us just simply write randomly here. There are several networks, okay, connected with each other. Fine. And here, there is another autonomous system now. Let us take a bigger autonomous system here, AS2. And you have the different networks. So, just randomly I have taken few networks here in both the autonomous systems. Now, this is an independent that means now let us first assume that there is no connection between one autonomous, autonomous system with the another autonomous system. Now, all the networks that are present in this are controlled, managed and administered by one authority. That means there is one single administrator for this. Similar is here. Fine. Now, intra-domain is the routing okay that is the packets some routing protocols which are making what the packet get routed within the autonomous system only within the whatever are the networks that are present here okay the communication is possible only between those networks only between the networks that are present here fine so we say that type of routing see the routing what routing the routing mechanism is only for the networks that are included in this route, uh, autonomous system. So, we say it is within this autonomous system, it is called as intra-domain routing. Whereas, here also, if the communication is happening between all the networks here in this second autonomous system, it is called as intra-domain routing only. But suppose, if the communication is happening, what it is happening between two autonomous systems, that means, a one a packet from one network is getting what transmitted to a packet of to another network of the other autonomous system between two autonomous systems the communication is possible so that type of routing which is making this communication possible is what inter domain routing if within one department in your college if there is some communication happening we say it is intra department if Suppose one department civil wants to communicate with another department mechanical, then we say inter-department communication. So, similar is here, within one autonomous system communication is possible, it is intra-domain. 
between two different autonomous systems communication is possible then it is interdomain so this is how first at one level the very first hierarchy you have to relate it in this manner only first what is that you have to say routing protocols are there we have interdomain routing protocols and interdomain routing protocols and in interdomain we have what that is distance vector routing algorithm is used to implement this intradomain there is one more routing algorithm link state routing which is used to implement the intradomain there are two routing algorithms let us see later the differences there are two algorithms which can implement the intradomain routing and under each of these algorithm there are protocols so for exa best example for distance vector is routing information protocol so i shall be explaining in my future video lect uh, lectures the distance vector routing algorithm and the functioning of what RIP routing information. Similarly, here we have the routing information protocol is the routing protocol is what OSPF open shortest path first is what is an example for the link state routing algorithm. Then in intra domain sorry in inter domain routing the algorithm that is path vector routing algorithm is used to implement what the inter domain logic and the protocol that is uh, used here is the protocol that is an example for path vector routing algorithm the protocol which implements or which functions for this is the border gateway protocol border gateway protocol is what is under what path vector routing algorithm path vector routing algorithm implements the inter domain routing concept or inter domain routing logic so this is how you have to relate between the different algorithms and the routing protocols so one by one in my video lectures future video lectures i shall explain all these things so hope this introductory class for the unicast routing mainly this was an introductory class only the previous video lecture as well this i just wanted to uh, give you an introduction before i start actually what explaining the algorithms for these link state distance vector and path vector so hope you have understood this classification Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.